morning, folks. I'm sitting on a different stoop today. It's Friday. I didn't talk yesterday because I was driving. Drove up to uh, old Connecticut. Uh, I'm at my parents' place. Um, Rose barely fits in the driveway. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm working in Massachusetts. I got the iron worker job out in Weymouth, old Weymouth, Mass. Uh, Dominic told me it's South Beach to the locals. South Beach, Boston. Uh, see how it goes. Should be at least a month or two. It'll get me to Joe's wedding, that's for sure. Um, old Dave is probably looking like, who the fuck is that? Uh, Pilot's enjoying the new territory to roam around. He's probably only dug up three or four plants. Mom and dad will only be slightly pissed. Uh, they're not home. It's all right. I'll catch them next weekend. Uh, yeah, got the job. I have no idea what I'm doing. None. Never done iron work before. Uh, I'm going in there hopefully, not with an attitude, but with one of those like, hey, they say there's a structural welding job. I got weld. Which I can weld, but I think it's gonna be primarily bolt up stuff. But I mean, I'm also not an idiot. I can figure it out. Like, bolt, washer, nut, tight. Like, got it. Now, as far as the techniques to align everything, like, uh, I ain't done that before. So, we'll see. <clears throat> uh, it's a temp job. It's not one of, like, the ones where they kind of expect you to be there for three to five years. Um months are too long um, 28 and 100 it's 20 an hour 100 a per diem uh, I got my check for the last job um, the most money I've ever made in three days like for three days worth of work you know what I mean and probably in three days period anyways uh, 20 it was 2200 bucks take home for three days so I took out the travel pay, which was a decent chunk of that, which is 800 bucks. I took out the travel pay and calculated that it ended up being like 40 bucks an hour. I'll take that, yes please. Uh, kinda why I was really, I mean, that's the exact point why I was trying to hold off on not taking one of these like shop jobs because there's just way more money in not taking one of those. <laughs> um, yeah. Because, like, even even taking out the travel pay, um, it was, what, 1400 in three days? So, still more money than I've made in three days anywhere else. <laughs> So that's a thing. Uh, dude, these tires, I think it's the tires. It's gotta be the tires. Oh, I can't freaking flip the phone. The old, the old Michelins? The Michelin uh, Agilis Cross Climates. Uh, folks, it was six hours of driving. It was round about, it was 400 something miles, maybe more, uh, or just under 400. I forgot to take a picture. Uh, Melissa, I sent Melissa a picture though. 
Uh, but I didn't save the picture. 18.5 miles to the gallon average. That's the best the thing's ever gotten for mileage. Ever. Um, pretty sure it's the tires. Because, you know, the only difference is the tires. That's the only thing that's changed. So, pretty sure, pretty sure that's what's up. There's a dog walking by and pilot's not running after it. So he's clearly nowhere to be found right now. He's probably in the neighbor's dilapidated lawn getting infested with ticks. Great. I am a big fan of whatever medicine I am giving him up for ticks because I found another tick on him just the other day. Uh, it was dead though. But I heard his tags. But uh, <clears throat> where's it going with this? What are you doing, dog? Hey, hey leave it. It's bird shit. Um. But they need to bite him in order to die. I don't think he just emits like tick killer. No, you're not as wet as I you would be if you were in that lady's lawn. Alright. <clears throat> uh hi. You wanna say hi? Pilot. Are you gonna say hi or what? Oh, that's his hello face. Hopefully it got that. I don't know if it did. Um, but I keep finding dead ticks, not alive ticks that are like sucking on his blood. So that's good. Um, but again, like that means they need to bite him. I feel like to die. Cause I feel like he just doesn't like, I feel like he doesn't have a I don't know, like an odor of tick killer on him. Like I feel like it's probably in his body just enough. Uh, I don't know. But it's working, so <laughs> that's good. Um, seen Johnny and Steph. seen my niece Shyla. She's fucking cute. Uh, she's a handful. Good luck, guys. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? I start Monday. It is Friday. So I get the weekend off. Um, maybe I could be like I'm 18 and have a party at the house. Parents are gone for the weekend. Oh, boy. What else, what else, what else? This is now the third trip through New York uh, and the van has survived. Um, it hasn't gotten shot and it hasn't fallen apart on their terrible ass fucking ropes. Um, so that's a huge plus. That is a huge plus. The van got invaded by uh, Sue, and I think the other lady's name was Dara, I think. Uh, Sue loved it. Dara, Dara was like, I can't fucking do it. Ain't gonna happen. Uh, where's your bathroom? Where's your shower? Uh... Yep. Um, 
Sue is all about it because I guess her husband goes bowling and while he goes bowling she watches like HGTV or something like tiny home stuff and uh, was like super into it was like wow look at this wow look at that um, that was funny uh, she enjoyed it which is great awesome uh, yeah so I've taken two showers in the matter of like 24 hours I'm like all of a sudden a human again not a mutant uh, feels great And like they don't even have to be long showers, they're just showers. Like <laughs> priorities. Um, what else? I'm gonna pawn a bunch of stuff off on dad. Thanks, dad. Uh like extra tools and crap that I don't necessarily want to keep carrying around or need or have. Um, that I procured either from school or I purchased to go to school um, but I just don't see fit at the moment so I will be dropping those off thanks hopefully you can use them pops if not maybe next year's swap meet will be a hit <laughs> um Yeah, I think I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that I'm like stationary for a bit. I'm gonna wash all my bedding, like everything, every blanket. I'm probably gonna wash my, can't really wash my pillows, but I'm gonna wash all the couch covers. Cause I usually just vacuum them off cause I never sit on that stupid thing. It really just gets dusty uh, and pilot hair all over it, but I'm gonna wash it. Uh, yeah. It, like the nice thing is I don't have to be in a rush. I don't have to dedicate like four hours to doing it. Like, luckily enough, I can crash on the couch or in their spare bedroom, and I can not have sheets on the bed overnight. Like, no big deal. Uh, I would not normally do that while I'm in the van because. I'm too freaking grimy to sleep on my nice, super clean, always had a mattress cover on it mattress uh, without any sheets. So I ain't about to do that. When I'm in the van, you know what I mean? I ain't about to sleep in the bed and not have it all covered up because I'm too grimy. Here's what it is. Uh, but I could take advantage of that right now and sleep somewhere else. Oh, I don't even need to be grimy. I can shower. Uh, so I'll get that done. Um, might try to wash the van because it hasn't been washed in eight months. Besides the rain. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, that's, that's about it. I'm gonna go head up to the job Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, something like that. Uh, plot twist, not really, but it, I was hoping there would be, but there is not parking on the job site. Uh, so I'm working in, we in Weymouth, which that means nothing to me because I have no idea where that is. But it is pretty like city y. Um, so pretty limited parking, but I guess luckily enough, there is. Uh, there's a train parking lot across from the job site, but I don't know if it's free. 
hopefully it is. I don't know. Uh, these days, it's probably not. Which, that'll suck to have to pay for parking. Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll suck. Um, if it is free, I'm going to try to just freaking stay there and not move. Uh, besides when I want to, you know. Uh, we'll see. But, I don't know. If anybody's from the Boston area, specifically Weymouth, South Beach, Boston, uh, let me know if that train parking lot is free. I highly doubt anyone's going to respond to that. But you never know. One of you guys might know. <clears throat> um, dog, you're going to have to tell me where you shit because Big Al's going to be pissed if he stumbles on one of those pies. <laughs> Just saying. Um, yeah, there's a Walmart super close by though. But even still, I don't like... I gotta be there for seven. I don't know what time the train schedule is, because I don't know what time that parking lot is gonna get packed. So I don't know, like, should I be getting there at like five so that I could get a parking spot? Because this van takes up about two parking spots. Am I gonna get ticketed for taking two parking spots? Like, there's some questions. Um, and if I can't park there, like, where am I gonna park? You know? Uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, I think I'm done rambling for the day. Um, yeah, pilot, what do you think, dude? Huh? You like being here or what? Yeah. Um, that's about all I got. Shakes courtesy of pilot. You guys have a good rest of your day. New mug. Not really, just for the day. Cheers.